All right, here we are with some more Hollow Cure. We're playing as Oru Crony. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Their power is clock hands. They will shoot a large clock hand, you know, wherever you're facing, and then a smaller clock hand that uh, just shoots randomly. So you have like one controlled and one that just kind of like, eh, it does whatever it wants as far as like where you're attacking for their uh, attack thing. And their special is, I forget the name of it, but it's, oh, hold on. What's this? Skill, time bubble. Every 10 seconds, create a small time bubble that freezes targets in time, preventing them from moving attacking. It seems all right. Crony Copter. So she's like a time, she's all about time. Increase speed and haste by 10% if clock hands lands a critical hit. Gain another 10% to speed for her soul moves faster. Okay. Idle costume. Oh, we have a, a reroll table now. Increase the area of attack by clock hand. Let's reroll here. Um, let's get some more... Let's get, let's get some more stuff here. Beal book, sure. She has more weapons going on. Her skills seem to be skills that I don't think are going to be great early on. I think we want to focus on getting some early synergies. It seems like two of her skills there have nothing to do with damage. And early on, you just want to have damage to, like, wreck you guys faster. Like, I don't need speed or haste right now for this chronicopter thing. Boom speed, clock hands. I think we're going to get the clock hands stronger. Fan beam. Oh, we only get one re-roll for the entire run? Ew. Thought for every level, okay. Um, good to know. Uh, I thought it'd be for every single level. It's only for one, one per run. I guess you can have up to three, but okay. That's not so bad. I mean, usually you don't need to re-roll too much in this, so I think it's fine. But uh, if I'd known that, I would have saved that re-roll for perhaps a different moment, a different time, but it'll be fine. I'm used to playing this game without any re-rolls the first few times I've played so far. And, but yeah, her special. All right, every time I try to describe the special, a level comes up. Perfection is her third skill. While hit point is full, increase attack speed, pick up uh, by 20%. Increase uh, That actually might be worth. But be a book first. Focus on my synergies first. I think her skills probably are useful, but I think in her case, you probably want to go for synergies first because most of her skills are not that huge for damage, right? Because, okay, you get stronger if you're full health, but the second I get hurt, I get hurt, all that extra damage goes away. Which is well, not precisely what we're looking for here. Are you? I mean, it's, it's, I need to control this aiming of this big one better. I find her hero power a little trickier to use than some of the other ones. Um, max hit points. Spider cooking. I'll take spider cooking. I'll be fine. Just gotta keep my early game farm up here as best we can. Got these guys here. If I can, like, take out a few of them, maybe. Like, give me, give me some extra. Take one out. Got one. I'll take it extra XP thing there. I, don't, I have no idea what they call these XP things. They look like YouTube play buttons or something. I don't know. Is what they are? I don't know. Uh, or maybe it's like the hollow tube, hollow live symbol. I don't know. It's beyond me. Um, I think we just ignore her skills for most part. Let's get the let's get the axe going as well here. Let me ask you a question. I'd like to ask you a thing or two. But yeah, or her special is you you, uh, you oh, I forgot like you shoot out an attack thing and for one second and every second you send out another attack thingy and it gets progressively stronger as time goes on i don't know i probably should have showed you that main menu before you popped in here i guess um clock hands uh let's get the axe i guess i prefer to start the video eh, most of the time in the run maybe i don't need to do it it's one of these things where like i, I usually find if you start oh hello we can try out here let's press space okay now we got it all right so it's I, I, I guess I'm, I can't tell what's my regular attack, what's the, I, 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 it's, I, it's dead, I've, oh, I see, there's a pulse, there's a periodic AoE pulse, I get it, oh, I get what it is now, I see, I was focusing on my attacks, another Psycho Axe upgrade here for a higher attack frequency, level up, I'll grab, um, get the hollow bomb here, get that going, and, uh, so it's like, it's, it's an AoE circular pulse that goes outwards, and, it gets stronger and stronger as time goes on. Okay, I think we're getting it. But yeah, it's always like, do I start the video at the start of the run? Do I like start the title screen and then go into the menu and pick the character and show you the stats and description and stuff? And I don't really know what works best. Psycho Axe. I've tried, I, like, I try different things. It's, um, I find most often it works better if you just start in right into the game gameplay and just describe what you picked in the main menu. Seems to work pretty well. Although I see other content creators who just start the title screen and they do just fine, so I don't even know. Um, increase size of the beam. Um, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll worry about the clock hands later. Let's get us some get some early synergies. What am I getting? Three synergies or something, right? And to get the clock hands going later. I find that I won't super love how the clock hands work. They have like a very narrow, like the you have it like 
It's a very narrow hit compared to some of the other things that like hit like the entire wall in front of you. The hitbox of the clocks is relatively small compared to the other killer's powers. Like the scythe, the scythe is just like does like the wall of damage in front of you. Um, let's get the axe going here. Appreciate you guys wouldn't touch me. But we'll figure out what we can do with this character. See how see how we like him. This is one from the uh, council, I believe, is the where they're from. Not the myth class. This is one of the new one of the newer characters we unlocked in a previous video. Be using them. See what we can do here. All right, it's chill. But yeah, I never know if I should start the video. Like, oh, here's the character's stats when I pick them in the main menu, and here's a description of their stuff. Or do I just go ahead and start right in and try to like poorly explain as we go? I mean, I can always show you after the run's over the stats of that if you're really curious. It's all about, you know, um, perfection. Uh, let's get the clock hands against area of attack. It's it's like being as a YouTuber, you can't just like, you can't just do it like, ah, I just feel like doing this way. You gotta do what, what like, you know, get people to actually watch. Alright, time to use my space here. and So it does like AoE pulse thing, and just like the pulse does more and more damage. Um... Yeah, it's like slowly scaling more and more damage on you. Okay. I find it's... It's... It seems less good for dealing with the elites. The elites survived that. I wasn't attacking with my... My... Clock hands or anything, but... It seemed like it, uh... Survived that just fine. Um... Maybe not the strongest special ability, or maybe it's not a good special ability for bosses, but a good... It's a good special ability for, like... Groups of mobs. We, just, we got them at the end of the day. Oh... Hmm... Spider cooking, I'll take it. And we got here single, uh, credit card, some more ambles, and uh, enhancing is cheaper. Even though I tend to not do that because I like to save my coins. More XP gain. I will take XP gain. Yes, please. We unlocked that last time, I think, or like recently, anyways. Sorry, I had to, had to mute the mic while I cleared my throat there. Can't have silence, can't have downtime. Uh, let's get this anvil here. Oh, let's upgrade... Uh, who's closest to level 7? Psycho Axe. Um, yes, we have more. Uh, you're, just, you're just stronger and better. Be great. I've had people leave comments like, Oh, why do YouTubers worry so much about, uh, you know, always talking? It's okay to have just the gameplay and have silence or whatever. And the YouTube analytics data says differently is how I would respond to that. Uh, increase damage at 50%, max out the axe, that's good. One level 7 weapon, maxed out. Just get another one level 7, we can maybe get a, uh, a collaboration going between these weapons. Evolve them. But yeah, like if... Oh, oh there's a good drop, nice. Um, Get the get the beam here, I guess. It's close to being maxed out. I got the drop, that, that little big button. Picks up the little buttons. Let's get some uh, XP gain, yes please. Mm, more XP gain. Yes, fantastic. Be nice to get that a little bit earlier, but that's fine. Let's we'll see how like aggressively we can level here, right? Well, it's one of these things. It's like, at what point does the XP game become less worth it? We'll take that. You know, there's got to be some mathematical thing. Like, well, based upon this time to run, it becomes like increasingly less. The extra five percent is insufficient compared to the level it takes to use it, kind of thing. But I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna grab it. I'm gonna just go and grab it. That's what I'm gonna do. You can't stop me. It's already done. You can't stop me. It's already been done. More XP gain? Like, it's only a five extra percent per level, so is it worth, you know, using, you know, five levels to get it from, you know, there to there? I don't know. I don't know. It is fun to level up more, though. But yeah, it's like, how do you start the videos? Straight into it? Title screen? Describe it? I don't know. Different people want different things. Um, just a question of what works best overall on as many people as possible. That's how YouTube works. Fan beam. And press space for this elite here. And now, stop touching me. We'll try, like, attack you a little bit and get you. All right, chill. Your special is, like, extra. Well, it kind of sucks, honestly. <laughs> it, 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 it's barely even dealing with, like, the small mobs. Like, you're struggling to even hit the small mobs or, like, kill them before they got to us. I think, I think your special sucks. I think your special's bad. That's a problem, because I kind of lean on specials to take out bosses. Um... Let's get some more uh, fan beam. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to rely heavily on the synergies for you. I can already tell because your basic attack. I guess I could level your basic attack more. Um, all healing is doubled. I mean, I'll take it. Not exactly what I'm looking for from a drop there. Look for a level. I'd like to have a level on a weapon instead of like some random new passive. Like I didn't want that new passive. I wanted you to level up something you already had. That's fine. We'll just have to make it work. You guys need to chill. Maybe I could upgrade my clock hands a bit more. I feel like some of the characters are just gonna like. Just, you know, they're just going to have abilities that just aren't that great. 
you know, anything that has like a, a narrow hitbox, and this has a narrow hitbox comparatively speaking, is probably just not going to be super stellar, amazing for us. Um, more fan beam, yes. Just need more, more of the good stuff. More of the good stuff. Uh, chill, my dudes. Take it easy. You know, sit here and get all these burger time. I, I'm, I'm all about burger time. Ouch, don't touch me. I got touched to get a burger, that's fine. Get out of here. The circle's not very threatening. Just kind of locks you in a little bit. It's not that hard to push out either, but I just chilled inside because why not? I need to get over here to this. My damage is insufficient. I need to evolve yesterday. Max out the fan beam. Yes, additional beam behind. The fan beam itself, not that great. Once you evolve it, fantastic. Um, we will... Who's the lowest level here? I guess we're all kind of the same. Get the, uh, the book going. I feel like the book protects you better than the spider cooking. I could be wrong, but that's the conclusion I've come to. I haven't used any of her skills yet. I'm just really hoping to rely on the synergies. I get the feeling she's going to be... I feel like she's going to be one of these characters that, like, you know, they're, like, there's going to be balance issues. There's going to be some characters that are going to be underpowered, some, you know, some are going to be overpowered. I feel like she's going to be an underpowered character based on her stuff. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I need to, like, give, give it a chance. Um, BL book? Sure. We'll take that. Maybe I need to actually give it a chance and maybe it'll be all right, but... This round, we're just going to focus on early synergies. Maybe we can get some, oh, get some moments later. Right, press space here and do this. Like her like her special, it can't, it's it's not even dealing with the regular mobs worth of any. Like it's, it's it can, it's taking like three pulses to take out one basic mob. It's just not a good special. It's like the damage just isn't there. Like it, it like it barely softened up the elite. It, it takes like three or four hits to deal with basic mob. It's just not good. It's just not a good special. Maybe, I, maybe it's like linked to the strength of my clock hands. I need to level my clock hands more. Maybe that's it. Or maybe just just needs work. I don't know. You guys need to chill on touching me. Stop it. 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 Let me out. Oh my god. These guys are the worst. A little movement speed there would be useful. Maybe we should buy some movement speed in like the main menu. A little movement speed in the main menu to like make... Like that one especially is always like a tough boy for us to deal with. I guess my other weapons are just going to randomly deal with that guy. Oh, you, no! You're kidding. I might just start this, I might just start this video over. We'll see. <laughs> that, was, that was awful. Uh, let's go spend some coins and just try it again. Um, that was awful. Maybe try her abilities right away. Buy upgrades. Get some movement speed, actually. A little bit of movement speed there. Yep. Um, max hit points. Yeah, get some more max hit points there. Call that good. And we're going to go back in. All right, so now you can look at this, what we got here. We got uh, Oru Crony here. We're going to try it again. We're going to lose. The video will end after this one, I think. Uh, clock hands. Every, every second, emit a time blast that deals damage. Each second, the emitted blast becomes stronger. So it's not tied to the damage of my clock hands, I don't think. Or maybe it is, but it doesn't say it is. Um, we'll try it. Maybe this time we go for her skills early just to, like see what they're all about. Overall, I'm not impressed with this character so far, but we need to, like, you know, let's try again and maybe actually focus on her skills early instead of, like, synergies that take forever to have happen, right? Maybe? Perhaps? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Another thing I worry about the channel is, like, should I show failed runs, or should I just, like, you know, delete the first, you know, 12, 13 minutes of this video and start with this new run? Um, mm, let's get the, let's get this, uh, clock, let's get the clock hands stronger. First, let's just get the clock hands, you know, max out, see if we can, uh, See how strong these things are. Maybe they're like strong once we level them up. And you need to like to give a proper assessment for the character's good. You need to like actually upgrade their stuff, increase damage of the clock hands. Sure, get the clock hands up. Try out their skills and see how that works, and then worry about all the synergy stuff. Just to get a proper assessment, just how good this character is. I don't think I did a proper assessment in the last run there. That's fine. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Like, do you want to see the field runs? Would, would you rather have like, you know, what do you want? Like, do you want to have I guess I guess what I can always do is like just put like the winning like put, change the order, put the winning or the winning run at the start of the video, and then like the loss at the end out of order. I've done that before in some like Peglin videos, whatever. The reason I worry about it is because as soon as you uh, a run ends, win or lose, like a significant per percentage of viewers click off. Uh, attacks faster on the, on the hands, yes. The hands attacking faster, it's good. More damage, more stuff. Yeah, go crazy. Hands, show them what's all about. So it's tricky trying to figure out how exactly to do the videos because you know, there's no there's no rules, there's no guidelines. Different people want different things. People say in the comments, do this. People in the comments will say, do that. And they'll contradict each other constantly. 
uh, area of attack on the claw cans, all right? Okay, the claw cans seem a little bit better now that I'm, like, really putting points into them. You know, getting... I feel like they don't... They're not hitting close enough to me because there's, like, a little gap on them. It's like they don't... Yeah, if, if, like, if I'm too close to the enemies, it's, like, not hitting them, it feels like. Or maybe it is. Uh, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. It's fine. It's fine. It's all right. All right, then. Try these claw cans. Or watch it. Get these hands. Yeah, well... We can, we can work with it. Reduce time between attacks. Yes. Get the claw cans really going. See just quite all what they're capable of. Seems all right so far. Maybe if they attack off enough, the, the, like the lack of aiming will be fine. Seems to be doing okay. We're working with it. Not sure how good it's going to be against the bosses or whatever. Need more, like, more knockback or something. Um, Time bubble. Every 10 seconds, create a small time bubble that freezes targets in time, preventing them from moving or attacking. We'll try it. Oh, that's... Okay, that is not a small time bubble. That is a huge time bubble. That description needs to be changed. I saw a small time bubble. I thought something it would be the size of, like... Yeah, the size of an enemy or two. They, and when they walk into it, it stops them too. Okay, that's actually really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press space because there's a boss right here. If I can get them in a time bubble. Oh, yeah, get in a time... Okay, that's actually really good. It's, 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 it was deceptive. I thought it'd be like this teensy, tiny little time bubble that blocks one or two. No, it's massive. It's a massive giant time bubble that takes up like 20% of the screen. Boss dead. Now we're talking. Okay, maybe this character's actually good. Um, increase speed, but reduce max hit points. I mean, I guess, I guess I'll take it. I guess I'll work with that. I want to level that time bubble some more is what I want to do. Um, every 10 seconds create a medium time bubble. Ooh, so it's going to get even bigger. All right, I'm into it. Is it going to create two extra ones or like one small one, one medium? I'd rather, like, I'd rather have more bubbles, right? It, okay, the medium doesn't seem that much bigger than the small. So, so far, I would say the first level worth, the second level not worth. It depends what the third level is. It might be the kind of thing where, like, it's, yeah, like it's, it doesn't seem that much bigger. Maybe it's a little bit bigger, but is it big enough to be worth the level you, you invested into it? It's debatable. Um, we got here? Nothing special to you. I could re-roll. I want to re-roll to try to get more first up. Um, Claw Cans Awake, increase damage by 50% and stun targets for half a second. Yes. 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 Okay, that's, that'll be good. More, more power, more good stuff. Just little, silly little, little hats you guys got on. What are you, what are you doing? Alright, now, yeah, now we're putting some, now we're putting some pain down. Putting down the good stuff. Burger time. Burger for the boys, burger for the girls. Can't help but notice that every single one of these, uh, VTubers is female. <laughs> Are there no male VTubers? Uh, not that I care one way or another. I guess it, like, no, like I mean, it makes sense. What's your what's your target demographic? Like, I don't know why, but like the people, most of the people that watch gaming, yeah, I guess probably uh, VTubing, or mostly dudes. Don't know why. I guess you mean why the most? Why is it? Why are makeup tutorials mostly women? Just, it is what it is. Um, body pillow. Healing is doubled, or the viewers of makeup tutorials. Perfection, while well, hit points full, increase attack speed, pick up all by 20%, and haste and crit. Yeah, so as long as I'm not hurt, we got we got like a nice stat boost, so just try to not be hurt. No, no, just, I guess, you know, people tend to watch different things. Just why are, why are, I guess the question that we're asking is why are genders like different? For a space here, yeah, I get stuck in my bubble, nerd. I need you to not touch me, other guys. Yeah, just kind of. Working you as best I can. Need that time bubble to get you. There we go. That's more like it. There we go. Time bubble is actually pretty good. The second level of the time bubble less feels a little less necessary. I don't want to get stuck among you guys there. Among us, among them. You're gonna force me to get a weapon. All right, we'll go for. I feel like lava bucket kind of combines well with time bubble, right? If they happen to stack up nicely there. I need to. These chickens are they're they're, they're speedy. They're speedy and problematic. De oh, oh, now I got a debuff until I heal up, which is a problem. That's a problem. All right, the time bubbles, you, 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 usefulness is becoming more limited. Um, increase speed and haste by 10%. If Claw Cans lands a crit, even more speed for five seconds, we'll take that. So uh, I guess a crit build is good for like stacking speed, although I feel like speed's not always the issue in the game. All right, I need to. What's that? The boss is still alive. Okay, so I'm going to worry about going to pick up their loot yet because they're not dead yet. It's fine. We are quick. Does my move to does my like a thing attack faster as I move faster? Yeah, your chickens. Chill, chill, chill. Get away from me. Just leave me be, chicken demons. All right, all right. We're we're falling off on the DPS front. Probably should have got more weapons sooner, but I wanted to experiment with all the things. Just 
keep it going. Also, was it this where I put a bunch of points into EXP? I don't know. Um, time bubble. Create a large one. All right, let's get this. This large time bubble better be enormous, since the medium one wasn't much bigger than, like, the quote-unquote tiny one. And it's not that much bigger. I mean, it is bigger, but not, like, that much bigger. I would say probably get the first level of that and, like, the rest, forget it. One level and that's probably good enough. I wouldn't, like, the, the extra size isn't enough value, I'd say. Maybe the bubble starts off too small, or I think the bubble starts off so big that you don't really need that much extra. Maybe they started off too big. I'm gonna press space here just because this thing seems to be more useful against mobs than against uh, bosses. And there is still a boss right there, so it's fine. Um, Chromecopter, more speed and haste. If we get a crit, more speed and haste. I guess we're just gonna be fast. There, we, give me that. Here we go. Open that up. We get a single. We get a lava bucket. We'll take it. Or lava area by 20%. Um, I will throw two lava buckets. No, I'll increase my speed and haste even more. Yes. So I guess we're we're quick. We're fast. Um, I will get more lava buckets. Yes. All right, we're trying to... So her, her whole thing is she slows them down and she moves quick. All hit points full, attack speed, pick up all that boost. Yes. I'm trying all... I'm going to try all your skills, see just how good they are. She's definitely, like, quick. She's one of the quick ones. She's a zoom-in. She's like a mobility-based character, I'd say. Even more attacks, uh, speed, pickup, all that stuff. If hit point is not full, heal by 5% every 3 seconds. That's actually super awesome. See, this is why it's good to test out the different stuff and see what they're right. See what they're like. It's actually it's actually pretty good once you like get it high up there at level. Just 5% every 3 seconds, so what's the math on that? It's 5 times... That's a, uh, that's... Wait, so every minute you get a... You're basically... A full heal effectively because five percent it's is it five percent of your max so basically you're just gonna like stay fully healed let's get the bucket going there we go a little more bucket for the boys a little lava for the crew yeah we're just we're quick we're quick boys and let's run around the clocks will randomly hurt them and the lava will randomly get them and we're just like we are just so fast in the hands they attack pretty quickly too Aiming could be a little bit better, I suppose, but I need to get out of here. Chill. Okay, we're stuck in a corner, but this is a problem. Oh, my speed. Ooh, it's gone. Oh, God. Let me. I, I'm just going to take some damage and walk through. <laughs> the one downside of relying heavily on speed, the things that will block you in like that are a big problem. You need to not be blocked in like that. It's a genuine problem. Also, when you get hurt, and now your, your, your power is gone. More lava bucket. Yes. The bucket of lava needs to be more lava-y. Not sure how good the lava bucket is on its own. It upgrades into strong things. Huh? There we go. Now we're zooming. We heal up quick, too. Nice. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Need to get some more... I need to, like, farm them better. Three lava buckets. Oh, XP gain. I feel like it's a bit late. I'm just going to pass on the XP gains. We got hit, unfortunately. This game has a classic problem. We healed up quick, though. Of uh, y you get hurt when you're uh, you level up, and then which was a try like boop, you hit. I played one game. Oh, press space on you. I played one game that did it really well. Where like, um, I think it was uh, Spirit Hunters. I think was when you I should probably I should play more of that game on the channel if people watched it more. I would. Um, when like after you leveled up, you had like a like you like knocked the enemies away from you like little like non-damaging like wind blow, blew the enemies away from you a little bit that way you don't just take damage because you leveled up too close to an enemy and you forget which direction you're moving uh, pick up range energy drink let's get some uh, glow stick in here a little glow stick so I was, that's probably the best way I've seen it so far I was just like if I level up right now when that, these bears are right next to me when the level, ups, when the level up uh, finishes it like wind blows them back a, a, just a little bit to give me enough time to like react and reorient myself. That was like the best we've seen so far as far as mechanics for dealing with the, how much of a nuisance it is. The extra speed of her is really good for that. You know, eight and a half seconds, eight, eight and a half minute timer thing of these skelly boys coming in hot. Are there always this many, like, waves to run through? It's a lot. We're still in this though. Doing great. Jazzy little tune going on in our ears. Is there only one song or is there multiple songs? I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious to see where this game goes. This this definitely needs to be like a full-fledged game for sale on Steam for three bucks or whatever, maybe even five. Um, spider cooking? 
elite lava bucket max yes and uh that like you know has multiple levels and all kinds of stuff like there's definitely huge potential here for a nice fun good game there's there's so many these good games and i'm gonna play them more i to play some more spear hunters problem is the game got a bit grindy after at a certain point it's the problem with that i didn't want to grind it um glow stick yes we get the glow stick going grab this it's a single and we get glow stick again yay more hit limits and another glow stick fantastic and we will do the bl book gotta get those synergies oh as you really fall apart in the late game you thought your synergies you're done for your dunzos i'd say the time bubble yeah like you like you really don't need the extra two levels in the time bubble one one is enough until they like hear me say that and they're like ah cd said the time. Not, not that they're watching me but maybe they are um you never know um low stick we'll grab that Sometimes devs will watch me play their games, but it's usually um, the devs that aren't getting much love elsewhere on YouTube. If this game's getting a lot of love on other places on YouTube, they won't notice my videos. But if I'm like one of three people that play their game, they might notice. No offense. All high up, it gets pushed up in the algorithm. I don't know, based on how many views it gets. I've had plenty of devs say hello. Oh, what's up, big fella? Oh, press space here and give you the goods there. Big old fluffy fella. We text the sides. Yeah, what now? Gets slowed. That's right, my clocks have a chance to like stun them, right? Oh, need to deal with the bears. Deal with the bears and keep folks on you. Walk the lava. Get slowed. Be slowed, my friend. Yes, the time bubble. The time bubble. You rats are making it hard for me to fight the boss. You little rat boys. Yes, keep working on them. No big deal. Got you guys getting in the way. There's something down there I must have just not noticed a while ago. Can we beat them? Um, get the extra book here. Oh, the, I wonder if the shield protects me from the whole, like, getting hurt and losing my speed. Maybe we should have gotten the shield there. Could have been good. Another book, more damage in the book, and duration, fantastic. There's something down over here to the right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get it. Let's see if I had a shield and I took that damage there. We heal up so fast, like, like it's really that big of a deal? Yeah, it's fine, I've won twice already without, um, use, uh, not this character, but with no real speed buffs. Glow stick, additional glow stick, fantastic. We'll take it. Mm, I need more different. I need, I need more weapons to choose from. Uh, I guess we get uh, uh, get this uh, plug thing. That'll be fine. That'll be good. Yes. Let me go back and pick up all these things we missed over here. Uh, another glow stick, increased damage by thirty three percent is sounding great to me. Oh, here comes the mice, but we're so fast. The mice are not a problem. Normally the mice hurt me a little bit because they're quick and if my damage isn't there, it's a problem. But we're we're, we're a quick one. We're speedy. We're zooming and moving. And moving and flowing. It's not even a big deal. It's not even a problem. Excuse me, my gentle little creatures. I've got goodies to get. There we go. Um, When did I pick up an energy drink? Maybe just gave it to me? I don't know. I don't remember grabbing level one. Maybe it was like a pickup. Did I get that? I don't know. Another book. Yes. But yeah, as long as you guys enjoy uh, watching play this game different characters different builds and all that stuff i'll just keep playing it have a good time and you know until the views drop i'll keep on putting out the hollow cure that's just gonna be the it's gonna be the channel plan is just whoever's getting the views do more of it and when the views die off you know bring in something new i think i'll probably just sprinkle the new things periodically uh, additional glow stick max that out fantastic we got two things level seven potential synergy maybe i'm not sure if those combine or not but yeah, like I'll, what I'll do is like I'll have like I'll have the fan favorite solves, you know, keep repeating on a basically daily basis almost, and then you know once or twice a week I'll sprinkle in something new just to see if you like it. And, um, more BL book, and that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing the channel for now. It's kind of hard to figure out what to do with it. Got to figure out what exactly to do. What's the best channel strategy, and what do people want? Do they want the same thing over and over and over again? Do they want uh, new, constantly new stuff? Do they want the same thing over and over and over with a little bit of new sprinkled in? I don't know. It seems what uh, people tend to want is they want the same game over and over and over until they're bored of it, and then they and then they want something new. There's some people who want new stuff constantly, but there's not many of them, honestly. Not many people want to watch, oh, here's a new game every single day. Eh, not really. If you say otherwise, it seems like, you know, not quite... Not quite that way. Anyways, enough talking about that. Talk about the game. We're chilling here, getting some uh, little uh, dots and what do they call these things? Orbs? Play buttons? X X X XP? 
I need to try and dodge. Oh my god, stop. Trying to dodge, trying to dodge. Chill. All right. Survive. I feel a little bit damage. Oh, it feels like I'm walking through molasses after I take damage. Ugh. Let's say heal up nice, but oof. What's up, big guy? Here, press the space button to kind of... Let's get you to walk in that old time bubble again. Never mind. Um... Hmm. I guess we go for, uh, the bomb? The bomby boys? Wait, wait! Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Why can't I move? What happened? How did I die? How did I die? That is the problem I'm talking about. That all these games have. You level up, and you go back in, and, like, an enemy is on top of you that you, like, you forgot which way you were moving, and you die. The one game that did it perfectly is, like, after you level up, there's a little boosh of air that, like, goes in the area around you. Hit like, about to click off. And yeah, that clears out um, the guys around you. That way you have like a, a like a good second or two before they get back to you. So you can see, you know, like it's right there. Like, what did I do to desert? I died because I leveled up and I didn't mentally memorize where every little enemy was around me, which direction I was moving, which is hard to do when you're commenting. So that's one thing that more games need. Everybody who wants to make a vampire survivors clone kind of game like this you know, or inspired by a game like this, um, go look at Spirit Hunters and see how they do it and make sure you do that too. That's just, that's going to become the meta. That's going to become the standard 100% guaranteed because it's so frustrating to die because you leveled up. Like, yay, leveled up. Oh no, I died because Emil's right there. Crap, and I forgot they were there and which way I was going and we're dead. It's annoying. Um, but we can lock a new character though. Um, if, or, I mean, there's a chance we might get... Uh, that same one again, but we might unlock a new character. Also, overall, that character, I'd say there's some potential there, but overall, I'd say not the strongest character. Like, her attack thing is decent, but I've seen better attacks. Her special sucks. It just so... The special does so little damage. It's, her special is trash. Um, probably the worst special I've seen yet, or close to it. And uh, her... Her... Um, what do you call it? Um, her skills, like, they're alright, but I wouldn't put them as, like, the best skills. The speed one with healing is decent, but you need, you need damage, really. All right, come on. Give me something other than the one we already got. Debut, come on. Don't give me the same one twice. Hey, a new one. Nanashi Nume unlocked. Ooh, colorful fanfare. Looks nice. Well, let's take a look. And uh, let's go take a look. Okay, body upgrades there. We'll uh, quit here. Go take a look at you. Here we go. Nanashi Mume. Attack bird feather. Shoot a bunch of feathers at a spread. Pierces through targets. Okay, interesting. It's got built-in pierce and it's got a spread. Spread is good. Uh, special true horror. Destroy everything in sight except for bosses. Oh man, the reason I use specials is against bosses. I mean, I guess it's good if you're overwhelmed, but there's a 30% chance that drops are not deleted. Oh, it deletes drops? Ooh, this special this special might be bad. First of all, I use the specials to fight the bosses, not the regular mobs usually. And this special deletes drops, but 30% won't be. I don't. Why would it delete? Why would I want? Why would I want to use a special at all? Like it would. You do, like you want the small mobs to farm XP. You don't want to like a we wipe the screen and then also delete a 70% of the drops. This seems like the special is one you just don't want to use. I mean, I'll in the next video I'll use it and try it out just to see it, but it sounds bad. I mean, I've, I'm sure visually it's going to look cool and it might save you in a pinch, but I think overall it's a special you're going to probably want to, like, not use. All right, and her stats, her attack is weak. Her hit point is low. She attacks quick. Okay. But yeah, and we're going to check you out in the next uh, video. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Smash that like button if you like Hollow Cure and you want to see more of it on this channel. Let's go.